Guys, Blade Ball trading is actually out. As you guys can see on the left hand side right here, there's a trade button. Okay, that means trading is here and it is working somewhat. Hold up, let me introduce you guys to the sponsor of this video, AdamBlocks.com, the cheapest place to get your NM2 or Blade Ball items. Now for Blade Ball, let's go to Shop Pack since trading isn't generally out yet. You can get the new Sinister Blades, which would normally cost me about $3.99 USD by buying Robux for only $2.72 USD. I go to buy it now and use the extra code GROWPIX right here, ROPIX. I get it for a total of $2.58. Yes, just using my code, you can save 10% extra. Now, once you order, all you guys gotta do is go here, enter your order number that is sent to your email, enter the email on your code, your Roblox username, so mine is Mint. Let's go with that. You add the bot, you go to here, and then you join their Discord if you have it for Bastard. And if not, you just press no, I don't, and you get it within your account in 24 hours. Right here, as you can see, within 24 hours, it will be gifted to your account. So as soon as you click trade over here, it shows you three icons, players, history, settings. Now, history shows you the history of the trade you did in the last 7 days, 14 days, 30 days, and 60 days. And settings allows you to change who can trade you, so everyone, friends, and no one. And there's one more thing, there's tokens down here, which you can buy, but not right now. What tokens do is you can get them by trading, buying with robots, or selling them in the plaza. And you can use these tokens to buy game items. So let's say a uh, game pass can be bought for 199 robux. So this right here, you can buy it with 2,699 tokens instead if it costs 2,699 robux. Basically, one token equals one robux. To do that, all you have to do is buy it with robux, but instead buy it with tokens option. It can be saved and traded away, so you can get it anytime you want. Now let's look at the player section. As you can see, there's not accepting, there's in match, so if you're in match, you can't trade. And then there's the send button. If I send it to this person right here, or this person, either one accept. This is how the UI looks like. You can add stuff like this into the thing and remove it as well. It shows on the top whatever you have added. So let's say all of these. And as you can see, they're adding a dragon bone as well. And there is the tokens value. You can also add explosion and everything you add it, it shows here. So you can add as many things as you can. Same with the emotes over here. Keep it bow, globe, all of these. And these are what are not tradable. So clap and these are the basics. And you can also add tokens. So you do that, you accept their trade. You can see that and you can talk with them. Add all these. These are all I have. I press ready or girl stop adding stuff once I press ready it's like that I'm not gonna send that to them but yeah Ooh, like that and you can trade stuff like that that's how you do trading guys thank you all for watching make sure you guys subscribe hit that notification bell this was just a quick update on trading <laughs>